Fitnesscenter.com headquarters for that Flex Friday workout. It's been a little minute, but we haven't forgot about you. I've been putting together a sweet, sweet program for you guys to follow, and uh, that's the first big announcement of today, okay? So starting October 1st, you guys are going to be able to check out this push-pull legs routine that I've been giving you guys insight into for months and months and months on all access on bodybuilding.com. So I know we're going to put a link in the chat for you guys here, but that is my all access program. It's six weeks, guys, six week program. If you guys are looking to get strong and swole, it's the program for you. So today I'm actually going to take you through one of the workouts in that routine. This is one of the exact workouts that doesn't hit you till week six because we got to work up to this much volume but this is an upper body push session today's a light day which is a lot of fun actually because we're going to get really really pumped we got to work with some higher reps some more interesting exercises and have a really really good time with this so again upper body push what does that mean that means chest that means delts that means triceps we're working in a rep range of about 10 to 15 we're even playing around with some supersets here so one thing's for sure this one's gonna beat the crap out of you in a really really good way though great workout going into the weekend guys it's flex friday right we got to blow the t-shirts off those or blow the, the the sleeves right off those t-shirts as we go into this workout so we're starting off with a flat dumbbell press here and uh, so we're not supersetting this one. We want our energy good for this one. We're going to move a little more weight. Four sets of 10 reps. We already got our warm up in, got our shoulders, rotator cuffs nice and going, got a couple warm up sets in. So we're going to dive right into it. And uh, we got the 100 pound weights here for four sets of 10. I was going to grab the 150s, but they got all their, all their camera stuff in the way. Otherwise, I'd be doing those. So we'll have to, we'll have to deal with the hundreds for now. But we're starting off first set. 10 reps, pre-workouts in, we're tingling, we're feeling good. Um, let's get to work. So we take a little longer rest here. Nice thing about this program, if you guys check it out, it's going to give you all the rest times in there as well. So not only sets, reps, rest times, perceived exertion. Here we're trying to keep a couple reps in the tank, okay? So we're only pushing to about 90% of failure. My favorite compound movements, guys, you can't go wrong with the squat and the deadlift, okay? Those are going to be my top two because they use so much energy and they build so much muscle. If you're looking to build strength or size, you gotta have the squat and the deadlift in there. Comes to upper body, really like some kind of bench press. Dumbbell press obviously works. I like an overhead shoulder press, pull-ups as well. Recommendation for pre-workout and post-workout, you gotta find what works for you, okay? A lot of pre-workouts are individualized. How well do you handle caffeine? Do you like that experiential effect? of a beta alanine. Um, I look for something that's high in caffeine, high in beta alanine, high in citrulline. Those are kind of the three main ingredients that I'm looking for in a pre-workout, post-workout. Guys, it's 20 to 40 grams of whey protein. Can't go wrong with that. Whew. Set two. Here we go, guys. These hundred feeling pretty light. I don't know. We might have to move the camera stuff out of the way. Maybe it's just the grunting. I don't know. it is we're trying our best to keep our butt down on the pad get a good stretch at the bottom solid squeeze at the top never ever resting for too long at the top we want to keep that tension on the muscle at all times how do I warm up today typically before a push day I really like to do PVC pass-throughs so getting a PVC pipe allowing the chest and shoulders to open up also really like inchworms it's a great way to warm up 
shoulders, rotator cuffs, and then a couple lighter warm-up sets. How do you know how tight they should be? You know, you, you don't want to cut off circulation, but in order to create the proper support, they should be pretty tight. You just want to make sure that as you tighten them up, part of it goes on the hand. The idea there is to provide support from that extending too far. Range of motion, it's as tolerated, okay? Some people can't go all the way down, but you want to get at the point where your upper arm is at least parallel to the floor to get the best contraction. Wrist wraps, they help provide support for the wrist, okay? So for a lot of people, they have trouble with the strength of their wrist, and so it limits that range of motion when it comes to that wrist flexion there. All right, guys, here we go. Set three, it's feeling good. I definitely don't need the 150s. These hunters are gonna do the trick. Let's go. Come on, lightweight. I spoke too soon. Hunters are getting heavy. You know, 10 reps for controlled tempo. This should start feeling pretty hard, especially rolling that four set. So we don't start the program with four sets. We work ourselves up to that kind of volume as we get closer to week six. Rest time. Guys, the nice thing about the program, if you guys follow the All Access programs, you'll know that they are very specific on rest times. And the rest time I have picked for this exercise, 90 seconds, a little longer rest on this one because this is going to be one of our more compound exercises for the day. Doms, delayed onset muscle soreness, good suggestions. Guys, get a good amino acid in, okay? During training, uh, amino acids, something high in leucine is definitely going to be beneficial for helping to deal with the delayed onset muscle soreness. Come on, guys. Is that all you got? I got to catch my breath here. I mean, this is tough. This is tough, but we're trying to stick to our 90 seconds. I mean, how do I feel about gloves while working out? I don't know. You know, do I leave my purse at home or do I bring it to the gym? I guess is the big question. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Some people like to train with gloves, and that's cool. You know, other people like to use their hands and develop calluses. So, um, personally, I'm more on the callous side of things. I don't wear gloves, but no offense if you do. Uh, how many days do I lift during the week? Six. Okay, right now I'm on a six day a week program. Always taking that one day of active rest. All right, guys, shut up. We got to get to work. 10 reps. Last set, best set. Let's go. Come on. Definitely not ideal to take those little half second breaks at the top of each rep, but if it helps you to get your 10 in, by all means do what's necessary. Choosing the right amount of weight. So I kind of work off of a rating of perceived exertion, okay? How hard is it on a scale of one to 10? And by that last rep, that last prescribed rep, I want you at about a nine here. Meaning you maybe have one to two reps left that you could do, but you're just about to failure. All right, guys, next exercise that we have on the schedule for the all access program, it's an incline chest press. And we are supersetting this one with a standing shoulder press. So remember, it's not chest day, all right? This is an upper body push. So we're incorporating both chest and delts here. 
I'm going to tell you this right now. It's not going to take a lot of weight when it comes to that superset. Um, your shoulders are feeling a lot from the incline push here. So I'm actually grabbing 25 pounds for my press. This is a light day, guys. So when you're following the program, tracking the program, remember you've got a heavy day where we obviously focus on pushing a lot of weight. And we got a light day where we focus on a little more of that contraction. 12 reps, 12 reps, four sets, very little rest between the sets here. Let's get to work. Right away, 10 seconds max between the superset exercises. Big stretch. Here we go. Shoulder press straight overhead. Starts off feeling really light. I guess hard in a hurry. Carb loading or carb back loading? Any advice for it? I guess it depends on why you're doing it. Okay. Um, carbs, are obviously an important part of anybody's diet. But when you put those carbs, it kind of depends. Ideally, you just want those carbs around training, guys. That's the big key. You want to utilize that insulin spike prior to and post training. What type of workouts would I recommend for somebody trying to lose belly fat? Whatever workout keeps you out of the kitchen when you're not supposed to be in there eating because belly fat is primarily due to eating too much food. Workouts, guys, my workouts don't change if I'm trying to build muscle or lose body fat. It's the same workouts. The nutrition and the cardio, the supplementation are what change. All right, here we go. Set two. It's already starting to set in, guys. You're gonna need a lot of water, a lot of food before a workout like this. Good food. Right away, you're gonna to wanna to take a break. Don't do it. Get right after it. failure there that's I mean that's all I got with decent form best time to take creatine doesn't matter okay creatine is not doesn't have your acute effect like caffeine does meaning you don't take creatine one time and see the benefits of it it builds up in your blood over time so it does not matter when you take creatine whatever you can remember I throw it in my post-workout shake just because I remember it some people put in their pre-workout doesn't matter Am I still able to hike a little bit, but it's getting cold. Weekends are getting busier. So I haven't been doing a whole lot of hiking, unfortunately. Uh, 
Well, thank you, DJ Spark. I appreciate that. I'm trying, man. I'm trying over here to be the man for you guys. All right, set three. Here we go. The pump is fading. That's not good. Let's earn it back. One rep short there, so we'll lower the weight next time. Upper body, guys, we're hitting a lot of muscle groups here. Chest, shoulders, both taking a beating during this superset. So what advice do I have for somebody cutting um, when it comes to training, heavy or light? Doesn't matter, you don't need to change how heavy you train. The only thing you might need to change is your overall volume, okay? When you start bringing in less food, you may not be able to push out the same amount of sets and reps that you did before, but you always want to keep your intensity high, okay? And the best way to do that is to make sure that you're using a lot of weight with proper form close to failure. Breathing cues. Very good question. You know, guys, every rep includes an inhale and an exhale, okay? So when I'm coming down on this chest press, for example, it's a big breath in and then it's a breath out as I come up. That'll do two things. One, make sure you get enough oxygen, but two, it'll make sure you're not lifting like a jack wagon because if you start lifting too fast, then your breathing has to keep up with it. You realize you're hyperventilating and that'll help to control your breathing. All right, here we go. Next set, final set. We drop the weight, 10 pounds. Hopefully we get 12 reps here. <sighs> Three, four, five, six, seven, Right away, let's finish it off here. Two, three. Oh, rack it up and we move on to the next exercise. It's feeling really good. Starting to definitely feel that fatigue come through the chest, the delts, that's okay. Because as the workout goes on, we start getting a little more isolated. Okay, and we gotta start focusing a little more on that peak contraction and a little less on the amount of weight that we're moving. Triceps lacking body part, train them three times a week, okay? I think a lot of people don't train something like a tricep enough. It can handle the volume. I'd specifically train it three days per week, one day heavy, one day moderate weight, and one day pretty lightweight with obviously the reps correlating. All right, guys, we're going to head over here now. Close grip chest press. So you can do this on whatever makes the most sense for you guys in your gym. That's the nice thing about this program. You know, you can find a machine in your gym that works for that workout for that day. And it might be a little different every time you train. I'm also grabbing some 10 pound plates for our superset. This can be done with, a dumb, with dumbbells or with weight plates. I like the weight plates guys because they're easier to find. If the 10 pound weights are taken, then I can easily use this as an alternative. So we're going four sets of 12. The first exercise is a close grip press. 
And then we superset it with a lateral raise. Four sets of 12, really trying to focus on the inner chest here, and squeezing out every rep. Let's get to work. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You definitely start feeling more triceps involvement as you go on to the close grip press, that's okay. Um, triceps are a part of this upper body push session. So now we go right to our weight plates for 12 controlled laterals. Leave your ego at the door, pick the right weight. Really controlled tempo here. take long for that to start feeling real heavy. Training in the morning or at night, it doesn't matter. Whatever works best for you, okay? Ideally, you know, for me, I like training in the morning. I feel like it gives me almost that good metabolism spike earlier on the day. I have trouble sleeping if I train at night too. So, but if it works well for you, it doesn't really matter. You know, should be training one muscle group or multiple muscle groups for workout. Hopefully it's okay to do multiple muscle groups because that's what we're doing here. And I like to think that we're not wrong. Truth of the matter is, you don't need to train one muscle group per day. It's too much volume, okay? I'd rather have you train it two or three times a week with other muscle groups. The headband. I had to retire the headband, guys. I need somebody to send me a new one, all right? The headband of gains, it was just... We, we'd used up all the gains in there, so it was time to retire it. All good things must come to an end, I guess. Here we go. Boop. Oh. 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 Hey. Right away, 10 seconds max between these supersets. That's key. You got to keep moving to get the most out of it. Two sets down, two more to go. Current training split. I've been following this push pull legs routine for quite some time, guys. Really long time. I'm now in a fat loss phase, so I did switch it up a little bit. I'm following a little bit more of a body part split, hitting all muscle groups except for legs two times per week. My advice for choosing a protein. Uh, whey, whey protein has the greatest bioavailability when it comes to protein, so I'd recommend a whey protein. You know, there's great whey protein concentrates or blends out there. If you're a little budget conscious, that might be your best choice. If you can afford it, I'd recommend a whey protein isolate. All right, set three. Let's get to work. Boop. Oh. 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 Right away.
right away. Laterals. Let's go. You'll notice I'm not coming all the way down because I'm trying to keep the tension on that lateral delt. I had to cook up my tempo a little bit there towards the end just to get the reps in. My favorite thing about my all-access program is, guys, I am really, really confident that you will get your best strength gains and your best size gains in six weeks compared to doing anything else. And that's something that I would really challenge you guys to try. This program was designed to be extremely efficient at building size and at gaining strength. Thoughts on circuit training? Um, they could be okay. If you're short on time, you know, you're not looking to build a ton of muscle, but you just kind of want to maximize your workouts, circuit training can be a great way to go. If you're looking to build a lot of size, I don't think it's the most efficient. If you're having trouble putting on size, any tips? Yeah, get my all access program coming out on October 1st. Seriously, it's the best one. But aside from that, it's food. Man, food comes so important. It's so important when it comes to size. You got to track your food. You got to make sure you're eating enough consistently. All right, here we go. Last set. Let's get into these laterals. There it is, guys. That's three exercises down. For a lot of people, that's a dang on workout right there. But we're going to keep pushing. Remember, this is the final week of the program. So by this point in time, you've built up a little bit of stamina, of the ability to move a little more volume. So now we're going to move on to some cable flies. And this is where it gets really, really fun. So we're going to go cable flies. We're going to superset that with a dumbbell front raise. We're going to up our reps to 15 here which is just gonna get silly, but we're up for it. This, this is where the pump hits, guys. Really, really hits here. So we're gonna get this guy out of the way here and work onto our cable flies. Now for your dumbbell front raise, it's not gonna take a lot of weight at all. So we'll set it up here. I'm gonna grab 12 and a half pounds Keep in mind, I know I've said it before, you already did your heavy push workout earlier in the week if you're on this program. So there's no need to be super concerned with how much weight you're doing here. Today, we definitely just wanna focus on getting the proper contraction in. So let's pick our weight. Let's get to work, guys. Feel that inner chest squeeze right away. We'll go two arms here, dumbbell front raise. Uh, 
eight, nine, good good shoulder stretches you know a lot of times using like that pvc pipe for those pass-throughs prior to training is really good other than that find some different angles to which you can go about like a typical chest stretch lower the hand down turn knuckles and then turn to get a good stretch on that front deltoid Only if you want gains. Creatine is only safe to take if you want gains. If you do not have a pre-existing medical condition, you should take creatine. I don't care if you're trying to lose body fat, gain muscle, gain strength. The only way you wouldn't want to take it is if you were trying to decrease muscle, decrease strength, decrease size. And in that case, I don't really know why you're watching. Is it safe to train chest and shoulders on the same day? Absolutely not. No, of course, guys, it's fine. We're training chest and shoulders together right now. If it wasn't safe, I wouldn't be recommending it for you. It's absolutely safe, okay? Follow the right program and it's fine, okay? Make sure you don't have any previous rotator cuff issues. Be smart about how you train. Leave your ego at the door. Absolutely, you can train these two muscles together. Here we go. Start feeling like cardio when you get those reps up over 10. But we still push forward regardless. Two. We're gonna do one more set here and then we're gonna hop on to our triceps, which is where we finish our workout on our triceps movements. Can you get huge without supplements? Absolutely. You can, it's just a heck of a lot easier and more convenient. Saves you a lot of time if you do use supplements. Good training split for the off season. Pretty much the same one you do for the on season if you're like a bodybuilder or looking to gain size, strength. You just play around with your volume. You play around with your making sure that you're taking deload weeks where you lower your intensity, lower your volume down occasionally. Do I prefer cardio before or after my training? I like doing like a five minute cardio workout before, but um, the majority of my cardio is gonna be after my training. All right, here we go. Third set. We'll go third and final set for this exercise. Three. Four. Chest is pumped, shoulders are pumped. Let's keep going. One. Four. Five. Eight. Nine. 
Oh, whew, never been so eager to get rid of 12 and a half pound dumbbells in my entire life. But that got hard and heavy for being 12 and a half pounds. All right, guys, so we move on now to triceps where we get a little more specific with isolating that. The first one that we have is a skull crusher. And this one comes at four sets of 15 reps. And uh, this one's going to toast us. This is good. Four sets, 15 reps. You guys use barbell, dumbbell here when it comes to skull crushers. Sometimes it's kind of nice to switch off. Sometimes maybe it's a barbell. Sometimes maybe it's a dumbbell. Do reps matter or should you just take everything to failure? Reps absolutely matter, okay? Um, you do want to pick a rep range that's appropriate for what it is that you're looking to accomplish. Um, that being said, it's also important to train close to failure. So follow the rep ranges that are on the program as they're designed to give you the best benefit for strength and for size. So for our skull crushers today, we're actually going to use a uh, cable here. And like I said, you could switch it up. You could use a barbell, you could use cable, you could use dumbbells. But I'm going to show you guys a cable variation today of the skull crusher. So we're coming back here for a tricep extension. And there you have it. Play around with it, okay? Cables, barbell, dumbbells. The idea is all the same. This provides you with a little bit of variety and a little bit of, uh, you know, it breaks up. Makes, makes the whole workout might not get boring for you if you do the same thing over and over again. If you're training five days per week, how often should you increase the weight you're doing? General rule of thumb, increase your weight at most 10% per week, okay? So you're not going to try and make huge strides in your strength increase in the same week, but look for a 10% increase maximum week over week. If you can't make it to the gym, what are alternatives you can do at home? Guys, there's great body weight workouts that you can do. You just have to get a little more creative with it. Try a lot of single leg, single arm stuff. Tempo training where you go really slow on your reps is, is uh, very beneficial as well. All right, set two. Triceps, let's get it work. Kind of a nice break when you don't have to superset on some of these exercises. You actually get a little bit of time to catch your breath, let the muscle relax, and focus before the next set. How can you make your legs get more shredded? Lose more body fat off your legs, and they will appear more shredded. It's crazy. Supplements for a beginner in the gym. Whey protein is a must. A multivitamin and a fish oil are kind of the three that I would start off with as a beginner. Next up, close fourth would be an amino acid product for during training. Program releases on Tuesday, October 1st, guys. That's when you can check it out. It'll all be there for you with all the details. All right, third set. One. Uh, 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 
Whew, one more set. Take a little bit of rest here. And then we got a couple more tricep exercises for you guys. Possible to get bigger legs using lighter weight? Absolutely. You know, weight is really relative to how you're doing the movement. If you can keep a good tension and create some intensity to your workouts because you're slowing down your tempo and you're doing things more proper, absolutely. You can make big gains that way. How long does it take to notice body change if you just started working out? You should see visible physical changes every two weeks. If you're not seeing some kind of change every two weeks, you could probably do something different. All right, here we go. Final set on the cable tricep skull crushers. No way were we getting 15 there, that's okay. We hit failure right where we did. And some sets, you're not gonna get all the way there, but the idea is that you push yourself until you get to failure if you're not able to get all your reps in. We're gonna move on to our next exercise, which is a cable rope extension. Fantastic exercise, three sets of 15 here. Haha. <laughs> The last burger, I, it's been too long since I've had a burger, I'll tell you that. Um, like I mentioned before, I'm in a fat loss phase now. I don't even remember what the last burger I had was. I'm trying not to think about it, you know. Makes it easier sometimes to not think about burgers. But I'm sure it was good. I'm sure it probably had an egg on it and some bacon because that's how, that's how I roll with my burgers. All right, three sets of 15 here on the tricep extensions. It's not about moving a ton of weight. It's about getting a really good squeeze in here. Almost there, guys. This is, this is beating me up. That's good. That's what we signed up for. Is training three days a week enough to put on size? If you're a beginner, early, intermediate, absolutely. Um, as you get more advanced, it'll probably require a little more volume than what you're able to get in three days a week. Best advice for training triceps? Make sure you get a full range of motion. I see a lot of this partial crap. You come up to the top, come up so high you almost flex your biceps. That'll allow you to stretch the triceps and then squeeze at the bottom. You should really make a strong mind-muscle connection each and every rep on triceps. Speaking of which, let's go. Or, uh, Oh man, they're seriously fatigued. We gotta keep dropping the weight on here, that's okay. The other thing I would say on triceps, you always include something overhead like we did first and a push down. You wanna make sure you hit the triceps from all angles. So you have to include something overhead and then a straight push down, assuming your shoulders can handle the overhead. Some people have a lot of, a lot of challenges with that. How often switch up your routine? Depends, every six to eight weeks would be a good time to deload and reevaluate whether or not you stay on your same routine and make some adjustments to it or start a new routine. But you should make some kind of changes to your routine every six to eight weeks. All right, guys, final set, triceps don't require quite as much rest, so we can move through these a little quicker. Wow. 
Wow. One tricep exercise left, kickbacks. We can do the kickbacks on either cable or with dumbbells. We'll do them with dumbbells today. Three sets of 15 reps is our final exercise to really get a good finish to this upper body push workout in. Doesn't take a lot of weight. Ooh, hacks for when you have a sweet tooth, but you're trying to keep your calories under control. I love a protein shake, guys. Mixing up a protein shake with a little bit of peanut butter and sea salt, some almond milk. That sometimes can be all the trick you need. Also do a lot of amino acid popsicles, okay? So get little popsicle containers and then uh, make amino acid popsicles out of it. It'd be a great anabolic treat. Okay, let's get into these kickbacks to finish off this push day. I'm gonna grab 15 pounds. I think that's gonna be a good weight for me. We'll find out here. Three sets of 15 reps. Good squeeze to the triceps there. Kickbacks will really allow you to get an awesome squeeze in there. On IG, guys, check out my Instagram. It's at Trainer Mike One. That's Trainer Mike, the number one. Check out my IG. I put up a lot of posts on there, um, a lot of stories. I think we'll throw a link in there for you guys as well. That's Trainer Mike One on Instagram. And I have a podcast. Yes, my wife and I do a podcast. You can look for that on any podcast platform. That's the Fit Couples Perspective, um, where we talk about everything fitness, nutrition, lifestyle. All right, second set. Let's go. That's a good weight. That's a really good weight. Doesn't take much on those. <sighs> Height and weight right now. I'm five foot eleven and a half, and I'm waking up first thing in the morning at two fourteen point nine. Always weigh yourself in the morning after going to the bathroom completely nude. Pro tip: make sure you get a right weight. Five eleven and a half, two fourteen point nine. Currently cutting probably maybe another eight to ten pounds to go to get to where I want to be. Should the biggest meal of the day be before your workout? No, not necessarily. I mean, a lot of people are going to have a hard time getting a really good workout. And if they pound a huge meal ahead of time, um, it doesn't really matter when you put your big meal necessarily, but I'd actually prefer it after my workout. What's the guide for the right amount of protein per day? The guide for the right amount of protein per day, really easy. Go get your body fat done. One gram per pound of lean body weight minimum. Okay, here we go. Woo! There it is, guys. All access. Upper body push workout complete. That program goes live next Tuesday, October 1st. Check it out, guys. That is my program, okay? That's my baby. That's the one I created that I followed and that I am sharing now with you guys. That goes on October 1st on All Access. Check it out. All the details there, guys. Follow along on Instagram at Trainer Mike one Check out that podcast, The Fit Couple's Perspective. I am tuning out here, giving you guys a Flex Friday. Thanks for checking it out. Boom! Psst.